Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair K USA. So today my client came in for a virgin relaxer. She is fully natural. Um, we've silk pressed her hair a couple times. She's actually one of the clients that I have on my How to Fix Damaged Hair series where she came in because she had a lot of different things going on. And now she just decided that she would like to wear her hair straight more than in the natural state. So she decided that she wanted to get a virgin relaxer. So you guys get to see the process, um, four clips of the process from start to finish. And we also did a refresher color on her just to kind of brighten her hair up, give it some life, give it some luster, which that's really important guys that is all a part of the look you don't want dull looking relaxed or natural hair right no you don't so for the relaxer application i actually started from the mid shaft to about one inch away from the ends why because her ends are severely porous that's common and her roots of course would burn very very quickly because that area gets irritated very quickly even with or without her scratching so in a virgin relaxer application it is always unique to the client so don't think that it's standard on how you do it it is on a client by client basis this is also something that i do not recommend being done at home especially for virgin relaxers because you typically will end up under processing and sometimes over processing not knowing how the application should be done so leave this diet specifically to professionals guys i'm big on that so uh, her last area that i touched was her roots and then i went through and did her ends as well now the reason why we waited to do the roots last is because that is the area that you get irritated the quickest hello and if your relaxer is burning or irritated it's only at the scalp level so the scalp is typically the last place to get processed why because her body heat is going to process it twice as fast as it would have from the mid shaft to the ends so that gives us time to get that hair bone straight with a little bit of s pattern by the way so for her color we use pravana color lush demi gloss color this is a demi permanent color the reason I use the Demi Permanent is because she already had an uneven color application done before um, we did anything to her hair. So I wanted to equal that out. And of course, for me to do that, um, I could use a semi permanent, but it still would leave room for what I was trying to correct to really still exist because she had a huge line of demarcation. Um, from a previous color where it was a little bit lighter and it just looked crazy So we decided to even it out and use a demi permanent. Um, I didn't need to use a permanent for her She does have fine textured hair. That's number one. Um, we did do a virgin relaxer. That's number two So that is the reason why I used a demi to add that nice shine and that beautiful color to her hair So I have not sprayed anything on her hair guys. This is all from just relaxer and color and look at how shiny her hair looks. That is the goal. You don't want to have to do too much. Now, because I did do a corrective custom cut on her, the only thing I did was go through and just clean up her ends um, just as a whole on the perimeter of the head of her hair. I said that right, perimeter of her head or hair. Either or, doesn't matter, you know what I meant. Um, and that's all that she really needed because she already has her hair cut into um, a nice bob and this was very recent within the last six weeks so she is not in need of a trim until her next retouch relaxer so now we're just going to go into the styling phase um, i did need to blow dry her just a little bit just because her hair was slightly it felt damp or cold so that's the reason why i blow dried it but we're going to be using our elite mac styler flat iron just to style her what i just sprayed on her was the sebastian shaper plus you guys know I'm a big Sebastian girl. I've been using that for a long time. And that is just to seal the cuticle for the styling phase. I am doing it with large partings because she just got to relax her guys. This hair is straight. And I'm going to be very, very honest. And this is in no disrespect to anyone, nor do I want anyone to think that I'm taking sides. But her hair looked nine times better relaxed than it did in the natural state. That is not going to be the same for everyone. Some people, their hair does so much better natural than relaxed, and some people vice versa. Looks like for myself, my hair does better being relaxed than it does in the natural state. 
So for her, I feel like this did her the ultimate justice and it's going to make her life a lot easier. You have to base a lot of your decisions for your clients on their lifestyle. And for the lifestyle that she has, because she's in the healthcare industry, she does not have a lot of time in a day. So I know that this is going to work great for her. So you guys can see the finished style. Um, I can tell you that when she first started coming, she had no edges, guys. It was very, very sparse. And if you look at that hairline now, it's there. So thank you, Goddess Serum. The Goddess Serum is bomb. The Goddess Serum lays and slays, okay? So thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> no, guys, I'm just, I get really excited about stuff like that. But for the remainder of the service, we just finished flat ironing her and then combed her down and she was good to go. So you guys will get to see the finished look here shortly. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and share this video with anyone that is thinking about maybe going to the relaxed side. No peer pressure here, guys. It is a no judge zone for me. I am one of those where on either side, whether you want to be natural or relaxed, I'm supportive either way. So peer pressure ever and never from myself. But thank you guys for watching. And once again, you'll be able to see the finished product here shortly.